Back in the 15th century, practice of medicine was run and managed by practitioners on their own. Today, we have a large community of health professionals, hospitals, academicians and researchers working in collaboration to deliver a world-class healthcare service. This is a result of practitioners breaking out of their silo style of working and starting to collaborate. Softwares of today are treading the same path. The evolution of secure computing technologies and fast health interoperability resources, which is FHIR standard, enables disparate software systems to start collaborating. We are on the verge of a new revolution. Welcome to the world of patient-centric interoperable medical technologies. CAD Care Integrated Health Interoperable Platform, IHIP, is a patient-centric hospital management system. Our patient management software, CAD Care PAX, community management system, research management systems can not only talk to each other, but can interoperate with FHIR compliant systems of other vendors. We also offer advanced and intelligent collaborative interoperability service, Cloud Prescriptions that enables entities like prescriptions to collaborate. This can work with your existing and legacy systems too. Let's see how these technologies could have impacted the life of 75-year-old Mrs. Joe, who was a patient of metastatic carcinoma of lungs with a history of high blood pressure and atrial fibrillation. She was prescribed injectable dolteparin at her local GP as there was an increased risk of clot formation along with crizotinib chemotherapeutic drug and bisoprolol. Few weeks later, Mrs. Joe moved to be near her family, living in a different country. She consulted the local health center there for her cough. She was issued a repeat prescription for her medication along with antibiotics. That afternoon, her condition worsened and Mrs. Joe's daughter called an ambulance. Mrs. Joe arrived in the emergency department and she was transferred to the medical assessment unit. The trainee working in the emergency department noted down her medications on paper but did not enter them into the system. In the MAU, the doctor prescribed a miodarone and an oral anticoagulant, a pixaban, as an alternative to the dorsoprin injection. Dorsoprin was discontinued by oral instruction there was no written documentation. On discharge to take away TTA prescription, pharmacy summary and discharge summary issued on EMPA did not contain dorsoprin in the discontinued medicine section. The next day, Mrs. Joe's cough worsened and she called up the local health centre. The community pharmacy issued the dorsoprin medication along with other medications using an existing repeat prescription issued by her GP prior to the hospital admission. The pharmacy had no record of Mrs. Jo being on a pixaban which had been dispensed by the hospital. They unintentionally doubled the anticoagulants for Mrs. Jo. The family of Mrs. Jo initiated contact with the hospice specialist nurse as there were signs of internal bleeding. The hospice nurse discovered that the patient had been administering two anticoagulants and stopped the medication. Mrs. Joe refused to be hospitalised and sadly passed away three days later. In the example trust where the event occurred, an electronic health record EHR system had been in use in 2012 and EMPA elements of the system were an add-on module to it. Despite this, the anticoagulant was doubled. The severe drug-drug interactions between crizotinib amiodarone and crizotinib bisoprolol were not caught. Multiple data entry retrieval sources amongst the disparate systems and uses of paper and electronic systems in parallel led to the adverse outcome for Mrs. Joe. Deployment of the FHIR compliant CADCARE IHIP modules instead of standalone softwares could have achieved the needed interoperability between the primary, secondary, tertiary care and community pharmacy prescribing systems. It could have prevented such errors. If that sounds like a long-term goal for your trust, what if the prescriptions issued by standalone systems could actually speak to each other? This is a leap forward in technical possibility that cloud prescriptions offer. Let's see how this could have impacted the life of Mrs. Joe. 
Mrs. Zhou is still in the medical assessment unit, and the doctor tried issuing amiodarone and apixaban on EMPA. Tertiary care prescription. Hello, I am prescribing apixaban and bisoprolol for Mrs. Zhou. Am I good? Mrs. Zhou's prescription in her old GP. Hello, Mr. Tertiary care prescription. She is already on dotaparin issued recently by the local healthcare centre along with amiodarone and bisoprolol. Tertiary care prescription. Let me prompt my doctor. This could have avoided the fatal event for Mrs. Joe. Our intelligent collaborative cloud prescription solution offers this service. The intraoperative service like this could eliminate the need for multiple data transfers between the disparate systems which is stored in a decentralized fashion and not on the cloud. Cloud prescriptions are the advanced avatar of e-prescriptions designed to use the full potential of digital revolution. Cloud prescriptions are healthcare facility agnostic, vendor agnostic, technology platform independent, infrastructure independent, language culture neutral, and geolocation agnostic prescriptions. CADCare integrated health interoperable platform and cloud prescriptions ushers in the future of medical IT today.